Chairman, I yield back. Chairman Yields, I'd like to recognize Mr. Mullen for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you to our witnesses for your testimony this morning. So July is likely to be the hottest month on Earth since records have been kept. This week, a new report found that ongoing U.S. and European heat waves would virtually have been, would have been, a quote, virtually impossible without the influence of human-caused climate change from burning fossil fuels. This, of course, is no surprise. Experts have been predicting these extreme impacts for decades. So my question is for Mr. Soleil. Uh, we've heard uh, from the oil and gas uh, companies and some of my colleagues from across the aisle that oil and gas development in the Gulf of Mexico is some of the safest, most environmentally friendly extraction in the world. So I just would like to get your reaction to that suggestion. You can speak to the 11 workers that died on the Deepwater Horizon about how safe that is. I was a blowout specialist for 10 years. Um, there are 3,000 spills recorded a year in the Gulf of Mexico, but God knows what goes unrecorded because when I was working in the oil field, every time you disjoint a pipe coming out of the ground when that well's in the pressure, those those platforms are made of grading and there's nothing to stop the fluid in a 30 foot joint of pipe of going into the Gulf. So I do know there are more than 3,000 oil spills a year that goes unreported. Thank you for that. And uh, Mr. Soleil, uh, why in your view does the United States have a responsibility to play a leadership role in reducing global uh, greenhouse gas emissions? Because America is a leader in the global north and by allowing the global south to attain what the global north has attained, um, it makes the, the world a cleaner place and allows monies to travel around the world faster. And it also allows job growth to become a cleaner environment uh, for the workplace, for the worker. And we can actually make that true and just transition to renewables by allowing the global south to use what we have used in overabundance in the last 50 years. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Mr. Chair, I yield back. Do I yield the balance of your time to me, Mr. Mullen? I'm teasing you. Um, <laughs> my questions would be different than yours. Um, I'd like to recognize the gentleman uh, from Alabama.